Prince Harry warns the majority of people carry some form of unresolved trauma, loss or grief as he launches Apple TV mental health series with Oprah Winfrey in which he will open up on his own struggles. Prince Harry today warned the majority of us carry some form of unresolved trauma, loss or grief and proclaimed we are all human as he spoke ahead of his upcoming Apple TV Plus series on mental health with Oprah Winfrey, the Duke of Sussex, 36 is the co-creator and executive producer on The Me You Can't See, a new program with the U.S. chat show Queen which will start on the £4.99 per month streaming service next Friday, May 21. His comments in advance of the show will be viewed as a reference to his mental health struggles after the death of his mother Princess Diana and that of his wife Meghan Markle following her involvement in the royal family. The multi-part series will feature interviews with singer Lady Gaga actress Glenn Close and NBA basketball stars Demar Derozan and Langston Galloway that will help lift the veil on mental health and emotional well-being. Apple has said the new program transcends culture, age, gender, and socioeconomic status to destigmatize a highly misunderstood subject and give hope to viewers who learn that they are not alone. The hotly anticipated date was announced in a press release as well as a social media post by Oprah at 2 p.m. this afternoon with the Duke saying he hopes his latest project shows there is power and vulnerability. It comes just two months after Harry and his wife Meghan, 39, opened up about their mental health struggles during their bombshell interview with Oprah which first aired on CBS on March 7, then on ITV one day later. During that interview, Meghan also claimed she had suffered from suicidal thoughts after being plunged into royal life and that palace staff had ignored her pleas for help after taking away her keys and passport. Speaking at the start of Mental Health Awareness Week, Harry said as he launched the show today, We are born into different lives, brought up in different environments and as a result are exposed to different experiences. But our shared experience is that we are all human. The majority of us carry some form of unresolved trauma, loss or grief, which feels, and is, very personal. Yet the past year has shown us that we are all in this together, and my hope is that this series will show there is power in vulnerability, connection in empathy and strength in honesty. It is not yet clear whether Harry will be paid for the project which was first announced by Kensington Palace in 2019 before Megxit, but it comes after the couple also signed multi-million pound deals with Netflix and Spotify. According to a statement, Harry and Oprah will guide honest discussions about mental health and emotional well-being while opening up about their own mental health journeys and struggles throughout the series. Others working on the show including Terry Wood and Catherine Sear from Oprah's Harpo Productions, who will also be executive producers along with Radical Media's John Common, Dave Cyrulnik, and Alex Brown. The series will be directed and executive produced by Emmy-nominated Don Porter and Oscar-nominated Asif Kapatia, and produced by Jen Isaacson and Nell Constantinople. The team have partnered with 14 experts and organizations to shed light on different pathways to treatment. Oprah said, now more than ever, there is an immediate need to replace the shame surrounding mental health with wisdom compassion and honesty. Our series aims to spark that global conversation. During their series, Harry and Oprah will speak with people from around the world living with the challenges of mental health issues. They will address their emotional well-being, while trying to destigmatize a highly misunderstood subject and give hope to viewers. Speaking to CBS about the project earlier this year, Oprah said, I asked, Prince Harry, the question. What do you think are the most important issues facing the world right now? And he said there are two. He said climate change and mental wellness, mental fitness and mental health. As you know, he's spoken about his own issues and what he went through after his mother died and how being able to talk about it has benefited him. So it's a passion of his and, at the end of the conversation, I said, oh. I'm going to be doing this thing with Apple. It's a big concern of mine too and I want to try to erase the stigma." And he said at the end of the conversation, if there's anything I can do to help. The series was originally announced on the now-defunct Sussex Royal Instagram page in 2019, before the couple quit as working royals and moved to impound 11 million mansion in California to strike out on their own. Kensington Palace said at the time that it was intended to inspire viewers to have an honest conversation about the challenges each of us faces, and how to equip ourselves with the tools to thrive.
rather than to simply survive. It had been due to be broadcast in 2020 but was delayed due to the coronavirus pandemic. The Duke has spoken about the struggles he has faced since the 1997 death of his mother Princess Diana, and has made mental health one of the biggest focuses of his work. In 2017, Harry revealed he had not sought counseling for more than two decades after Diana's death in a Paris car crash, eventually doing so after enduring two years of total chaos while still struggling in his late twenties to come to terms with his loss. In March, he drew on his own experiences of grief to write the foreword for a children's book, created for young people who had lost loved ones over the last year. The Duke, who was twelve when his mother died described how her death had left a huge hole inside him but highlighted the importance of seeking professional help. He wrote, I will make a promise to you, you will feel better and stronger once you are ready to talk about how it makes you feel. Harry also spoke about his mother during his interview with Oprah, revealing that he had felt her presence throughout the process of stepping back from royal life, popularly dubbed Megxit. The Duke said of the mental health series two years ago, our hope is that this series will be positive, enlightening and inclusive, sharing global stories of unparalleled human spirit fighting back from the darkest places, and the opportunity for us to understand ourselves and those around us better. I am incredibly proud to be working alongside Oprah on this vital series which we have been developing together for several months. It comes as the heavily pregnant Duchess of Sussex has made her first television appearance since the Oprah interview as she made a plea for women to be prioritized in pandemic recovery plans. Meghan had been due to attend a celebrity charity concert but is thought to have pulled out at the last minute and instead recorded a message. Her speech was seen by millions of U.S. viewers on Saturday night watching the Global Citizen Vax live broadcast. Prince Harry appeared in person at the SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles addressing a large crowd to rapturous applause. The Duke and Duchess were chairs of X Live, organized by campaign group Global Citizen which aims to encourage the equal distribution of coronavirus vaccines around the world. The show featured live speakers and performances from Jennifer Lopez and other stars. Meghan said women have seen a generation of economic gain wiped out in the pandemic. Telling of her joy at expecting a daughter, she said women and girls worldwide must be given the ability and the support to lead us forward. Earlier this week, the Sussexes penned an open letter to five of the world's leading COVID-19 vaccine manufacturers, urging them to share vaccines with the world's poorest countries. They called on all firms to temporarily suspend intellectual property rights applied to COVID vaccines and for a global public-private collaboration so production methods for the jabs can be shared. As part of his speech, Harry said the vaccine must be distributed to everyone, everywhere. He added, we cannot rest or truly recover until there is fair distribution to every corner of the world. The mission in front of us is one we cannot afford to fail out and that's what tonight is about. The virus does not respect borders and access to the vaccine cannot be determined by geography. It must be accepted as a basic right for all and that is our starting point.